we are in the car again, my brothers. And it's going to be a wild one, dude. I got this other phone here, dude. Let me actually show you guys. Yeah. Damn, look at this. I got my my holder here. I got this juicer ass battery that will hold probably I could probably stream for like 10 hours with this battery. We got some fan mail today. You guys have fine I finally got a couple of PO box things that I will be opening today too in the car. It's gonna be quite a treat today. So what are we doing today? Today we are finally, finally going to get some in and out. Most people probably know what in and out is. I know it's not like a thing all over the US. I've understood that it's mostly a thing in LA. Luckily for me, we're in LA right now, dude. I'm gonna slam that shit. We're not just gonna try the normal in and out menu, but today we're gonna try the secret in and out menu. They actually have quite an extensive secret in and out menu. Uh, let's take a look at it right now together. So the first one that I'm kind of excited about and that I've always been wanting to try, a lot of people know they have animal style fries. You know, you, you get the, the pickles, the, the cheese, all that kind of stuff on the fries, right? That's old news. Nothing new, nothing new to see there, right? Turns out there's something called the animal style burger. You guys understand that? An animal style burger. That's some next level shit. This one intrigued me a little bit. Gorilla style, also known as monkey style. This burger has animal fries in the middle. So it's a burger with animal fries slammed in the middle. What the fuck? Why have we never tried this? We got Flying Dutchman. This burger has two patties, two cheese slices without the buns or condiments. That's pretty crazy. Neopolitan Shake, which is just all their shakes combined. Definitely going to try that. I really, really want to try the monkey burger, bro. The gorilla style burger. That's what I'm excited for here. Lemon up is fire. Wait, you guys have actually tried lemon up? Oh, wow. Okay. I, lemon up is definitely something I'm planning on getting. I might get the Neopolitan Shake. And I want an animal or I want the gorilla style burger. That's kind of what I'm aiming at right now. There's going to be a long line. So we might as well just go there now. And uh, of course, when I drive, we do not look at chat. I know you guys know, but don't text and drive, please. Oh my God. I see the line for the in and out right here. Uh, it's pretty rough. It's pretty rough. Oh my God. So I see the in and out down there, right? The line continues literally around the block. I kid you not, I do not see the end of the lines yet. It just continues up and up and up. And there's a turn up here. I don't see the line. Oh my God, the line continues around the turn. Okay, I've counted at least 40 cars. Okay, here's the end, here's the end. That's crazy, dude, holy moly. We're in the line, we're in the line. We're officially in the line. It's probably gonna be a 20 minute line. While we're uh, uh, parked here in the line, I guess I'll just start opening the P.O. box. Um, why not? I'm going to start opening it right now. And I think I know what it is because someone in chat has been teasing me about it. And I remember a couple of streams back, they said they were going to get this. There you go. There's the P.O. box. So, oh, yes, we got a little hanger for my cats. So this is one of those typical ones where you hang it in the window. So it's basically a little, um, what do you call it? Like a, one of those? Hammock, hammock, hammock. Like a cat hammock in the window. I'm very excited to put this up. My cats are gonna love this. I'm gonna use this um, toothpick to open it. Not because I can't, can't use it yet, but I, I want, just wanna look at it. Okay, it's like, it's like uh, pieces, but this is great. If you write in chat again, uh, whoever sent this, Jess, Jess Locke, thank you very much. Jess Locke, absolute legend. You're the first person to buy me something on my PO box. And I didn't really think of it, but of course, you can just put in my PO box on Amazon and you can just buy me the weirdest shit. I'm weirdly looking forward to you guys just buying me the most random shit on Amazon like that. I love this though. This is definitely not some random shit. This is very thoughtful. Thank you very much, Just Lock 17 Absolutely a thing that I'm going to use a lot. Well, I'm not going to use it, but my cats are going to use it. They love sitting and just looking out of, out of the window. So literally perfect. Thank you very much. Yo, everyone. You guys just saw me open this uh, cat hammock. I figured I'll just show you guys kind of how, how, how it looks set up. I'm building it right now here with Binky. She's helping me. She already loves it. I can't wait to see how much they're going to love it when I put it at the window. Because they hang out at the wind by the window here 
all day. So I really think this is spot on. I think they're going to love it. I think they might even fight who is going to be on it. Because actually they might both fit on it at the same time. We'll see. I'll keep you guys updated. I'll show you guys the finished product here in a sec. Alright, so I just put it up. It's a bit crooked. I might have to fix it. But we definitely already have some interest in here in it. Let's see. Oh, wow. They love it already. Binky, do you want to try to get up? Oh, she knows she want to get up there. Uh, yeah, I probably put it a bit far up. All right, so it's a bit further down. Let's see if we have some interest here from Gray. He does look ready like, like he want to get up here. Might just lift him up for him to realize. Let's see. All right. Will it last? Well, he loves it, I think. <laughs> it's creaking a little bit. Hopefully this doesn't just pop out my window. I'm gonna put her up too. Oops. <laughs> Let's see if it's too much. <laughs> I don't know what this thing's rated for, but there we go. <laughs> you should go. If you bite that off, Binky, you'll fall. Okay, I think they love it. This thing is gonna get a lot of use, I bet. All right, there you go, guys. That I, I would rate that a success. They're very interested in it, very curious. I think hopefully in a couple of days, they'll get used to it and I'll have some picture for you guys too. Stay tuned in the Discord. Peace, enjoy the video. I have actually something fucking annoying to tell you guys. I got a notice in my apartment today because I did the blasphemous crime of decorating my, my apartment's uh, balcony. Turns out, and I kind of knew this already, you cannot Sir, decorate your fucking uh, your fucking balconies. Months. Yeah, I got a I got a notice like you gotta remove your decoration from your apart from your balcony. And listen, it's nothing crazy. I hung up a small little like lantern. You know, one of these typical Amazon light fixtures that hangs uh, around your your guardrail. I put two rugs, a lemon rug, cute little low key lemon rug, like a half cut open lemon and a little pink lemon or similar to similar to that right and i put a little pot and a fake pumpkin out there god forbid me trying to make the little fucking courtyard look a little bit nicer instead of the stale ass shit it was nice it was chill i was happy with it and honestly a lot of my neighbors they put down like like grass like it looks very over the top a lot of my neighbors my neighbors they put up like grass they put up like lanterns all this shit right rgb shit it looks crazy and i i was like i was i was curious hmm i wonder if they got a notice too so i, I walk through the hallway and i see no other uh, notices so what the fuck and i have four days to remove it i'm thinking about because they gave us some some furnitures to have out there, right? So there's already furnitures out there. I'm I'm thinking about just fucking with them. I'm going to remove all my decorations. And I'm just going to make it look as ugly as possible with the furniture they gave me. I'm going to stack them in a weird way and just look it, make it look as goofy as possible, you know? If I get a notice again, I'm going to be like, this is just the stuff you guys put on here. Yeah, malicious compliance. Exactly, bro. Like, I'm, I'm fucking fed up. And listen, my apartments are good, right? It's just landlords being landlords. I don't think I'd be able to escape this wherever I went, right? You know, any landlord will be a fuckhead, right? So, I'm not saying my apartment is especially bad. I just think it's one of those things. My apartment is actually quite nice. I, I, I've been loving it. They're like, you're, supposed, you're, you're allowed to have two pots. No more than two pots on your apartment. Uh, balcony dude and they i think they, there was something else like crazy they said Th this is all detailed in the lease so i did know this already but i i, I figured that there was something like like an unwritten rule you can you can decorate your your balcony a little bit turns out no I'll, I'll push it as far as possible with what's in my lease i can have two pots of two medium-sized pots yeah they say i think they say medium size but they never def I, I actually looked into this they, they never define 
medium size, right? Oh, and also I have this tiny, tiny um, cat like house out there too. It's not even a house. It's like a carrier that I just put out there with a heating pad for my cats. Literally this small. So they're being a fucking bunch of shit idiots and um, they're going to regret doing that. <laughs> I actually think we're kind of pulling up on the on getting our order here soon. So we're going to get our shit ready. My window, my passenger side window is broken. So I got to talk through the back window. Hey, my, my window's open. You can open the door if you want. Yeah, sure. Uh, can I have an animal style burger? Yeah, what kind of burger? Uh, two zero. Oh, you want to double meat animal style? Uh, yeah, no cheese. Oh, please, hold on. You open up on the roof? Yeah. What kind of Uh, large coke. Or no, uh, do you guys have the lemon up? Large oh, lemon up? Yes. And, uh, do you guys have the gorilla style? A gorilla style? It's like one of those secret menu things I've heard. It's American. Yeah. Monkey style? Oh, let's see. I want to get something weird. Do you know the Flying Dutchman? Yeah, I'll have one of those. Uh, and I'll do a Nepalitian shake. All right, sweet. That's it. Uh, yellow yeah, unicorn. Great. Thank you very much. All right. We got it. They didn't have the gorilla style. No gorilla style, guys. Yeah, I, I don't know how to say Neapolitian, so I just said, I just kind of freestyle. I ordered, th I think I ordered three burgers, a shake, and a fry, and a big drink for $18. What? They must have missed something. Best burger per dollar? Oh, for sure. It's the best food. You cannot eat cheaper than in I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna hide the camera a little bit. Or I, I don't hide it. I mean, but I want to be respectful. I'm gonna be nice and thick. Great. Could I get some spreads? Maybe five? Maybe five. Thank you very much. Now I gotta find somewhere to park. Uh, I think I'm just going to park on this residential street. Fuck it. I'm just going to block this exit because it's just an exit, exit to like a one one car garage. All right. we're Wow, it got real fucking dark. Should I just go somewhere with street lights? I guess it's fine, right? Can you turn on the light behind you? Yes. That good? That helped? That helped. All right. So all right, we got a bunch of spreads. That's key. Let's see here. We got the animal style burger. This is an animal style burger without cheese. That means that the patties are actually cooked in mustard. You can kind of see it here. You can kind of see that there's some yellow in there. And I forgot to ask without tomato. So we're just gonna slide that tomato out real quick. Oops. There is also pickles on there, which I don't love. I don't like pickles either. I <laughs> remove them too. Fuck. So I basically made it a normal burger again. So let's try the animal style burg. That is actually really good. Wow. You can totally feel the mustard. Wow wow wow. That is really good. We put some fucking sauce on here dude. Hell yeah brother. Sauce on every bite. Whip out the spread. Uh 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 Damn that's good. That was a good ass burger. The mustard helps a lot. Now for the Flying Dutchman. The Flying Dutchman is just protein burger, basically. And it looks very sad. I can't show you guys without the fries falling out. So I'm going to remove the fries. My Flying Dutch... Ah! Jesus. All right. Let's put it on a little thing. Here's my Flying Dutchman. That just looks delicious. It's actually stuck to the paper. I don't love cheese, but I'll give it a try. I mean, it's a little bit good. One of the rare moments you'll see me eat cheese on a burger. I mean, how is this going to be bad? It's just grilled onions, cheese, sauce. Let's try some more sauce, though. Slam some fucking sauce on this shit. You know, it's not too bad. I'm done with it, though. That's basically just greasy, the greasiest shit I've ever had. I'll be honest though, the cheese, I don't hate it. I ate a decent amount of this shit. The cheese don't bother me too much. It's ex more melted than normal. So I actually don't hate it. But we're putting it back in the box. I'm done with the cheese. They put all my napkins underneath that thing. So now I'm kind of fucked. Oh, that's just nasty. Yeah. 
The worst part about that burger, it's just literally pure grease. I'm gonna pull up the wet wipes for that. Soaked in grease, holy shit. Okay, there's actually more napkins in in the this thing. They gave me probably this uh, fork for the Dutchman, I, I'm just realizing. I wish I realized that before I uh, got all greasy. So what did they call this? This was 7-Up and Sprite. They called it, oh no, 7-Up and Lemonade. Lemon up. Uh, they have a pink lemonade, so I'm assuming it's pink lemonade and Sprite. So I'll just try this. That's fucking fire, dude. I ain't gonna lie, that's one of the better things I've had. That's a good ass soda pop. Oh yeah, that's real fucking good. Someone said that the in and out napkins are useless. Yeah, these are just the thinnest fucking motherfuckers I've ever seen. You can almost see me through it. Since I'm actually hungry, I haven't eaten today. I'm gonna just continue eating uh, this burger. And I don't know if you, uh, how you guys are, but I need to slather my burger and spread each bite. Bad habit, probably. Very unhealthy, but that's just how I roll. I'm not gonna lie. What's the sauce? The in in and out is very famous for their spread. I don't really know how to explain it. It's slightly reminiscent of um, Big Mac sauce, kinda. Uh, but yeah, it's very similar to like a Big Mac sauce. It's oniony, relish. Yeah, it, it's a little bit of everything. Uh, it's ketchup, mustard, mayo, and relish. Yeah, there you go. Thank you. I kind of honestly feel a little bit enlightened. I did not hate that cheese on that burger. I will say. Actually, I feel kind of enlightened today. That cheese, I won't say that it made the burger better by any means. Actually, I thought it, it made it more fatty and sticky. So I didn't really love the sensation in my mouth of it. But I will say the flavor was not that bad. I will say. Usually, when I get cheese out of my burger, I throw it away. Possibly next time if they accidentally fuck up. I'm going to be a little bit pissed, but I can probably actually eat it. So we've made a great advance today. This might sound like a small advance, but honestly pretty big for me. Uh, just gonna hit some salt here. It was a little bit lacking salt. For the people who haven't had In-N-Out, In-N-Out is pretty special. Their fries fucking suck. And I think that's somewhat, somewhat unanimous. In-N-Out's fries are very underwhelming for what it is, right? 75% of people I talk to say that. They're, they're mid, right? Exactly. But with, first of all, eating them fresh in the car, right, right after getting them will help a lot. But if you douse them in dip or their spread, as you see, I put a, a pile of spread here in the corner. If you basically see the fries as a vehicle for their spread, like this, it's great. It's amazing, actually. The spread salvages the horrible fries, 100%. That's why you gotta get animal style fries only. And the thing is, I don't like the cheese that much. But maybe someday, someday in the future, I'm gonna be more open to. I gotta get napkins in my car. That's one of those things that, for some reason, I haven't pulled the trigger on. Every stream I do, I'm like, man, I wish I had napkins, but I always forget. Man, they stuffed this bad boy with pickles. I'm removing another pickle. But seriously, the burger, I will say, with the grilled onions and the mustard fried bun um, meat, absolute 10 out of 10. Would do again. We got animal style, gorilla style, flying Dutchman. It's like a brand new language. I know. There's actually a whole in and out language that you have to learn. The people that always take your order, they're like, if you don't use the exact terminology that they want you to do, they're like, um, excuse me, do you mean a two by zero? A two by one? So they have this language, right? Two by two. Is two meat, two cheese. If you say, hey, I want a burger with two meats and two cheese, you're like, excuse me, do you, um, I don't really know what you mean. Do you mean a two by two, two by four? And it's like, yeah, that's what I said, bro. My special is a three by zero, three meat, no cheese. They have, I think they do up to six. I think they used to do more, but they, they capped it. It's actually very similar to Starbucks where uh, the barista or whatever you call them, like, they'll, 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 uh, they're, in my opinion, especially as someone who's, like, immigrated here and don't, don't speak English as first language, not, I guess now it's my first language, but, uh, drive throughs are some of the most stressful time as a non, I know I'm fluent, but as a 
I don't know. There, there's definitely still a little bit of a disconnect. My accent, for example, a lot of people won't hear me through the speakers, and it'll always be wrong. And all, especially when they say when they repeat it back, and I'm like, no, they didn't get that right. They didn't get that right. I'll be like, yeah, that's correct, because I I get too stressed out. <laughs> Drive throughs are stressful for introverts in general. Yeah, you're right. You're absolutely right about that. Right. No more spread on here. Gotta bust up bust open another spread. This is probably my favorite in and out burger ever. I wonder if I should put raw onions on here too. Really stink things up. Look at that spread, dude. Cheek. How many cows are that shit packing? Oh, you don't wanna know. You don't wanna know, brother. Oh, there's a cat. Oh. That was so awkward. I just did something embarrassing. There's a person walking the cat. I didn't see the person. And I opened the window and I did. And the person just looked at me. The person was standing behind the tree. And they just immediately, she just immediately like, I feel so bad. Oh my God. She just immediately left. Oh my goodness. Who the fuck is walking the cat, bro? Who the fuck is walking the cat? Oh my god, that feels so bad. I feel so horrible about that. Three Follow months. her to say sorry. To. Yeah, I'll run after and say, stop, stop, stop. Stop, I just want to say sorry. I'm sure that's going to make things better. <laughs> How do you notice the cat before the person? She was waiting for the cat up here behind my car. I just see the cat walking the light here under the light post. So I roll the, the window down and do kss And then in my periphery, I see a woman standing up the street. It, was, it, it really wasn't that bad. I'm, I'm over-exaggerating, but it was very embarrassing. I'm glad people walk their cats. They deserve it. I'm still working on being able to walk my cats. But they're very skittish when outside. I walked them in the hallway of my apartment. And honestly, they just don't seem to enjoy it. They're too stressed out. And whenever I bring them out for when the fire alarm goes off, I have them in a cat carrier and they're just stressed off, st stressed out. Have you tried catnip with Binky and t No, I have not. I don't think I will. I don't want to get my cats addicted to it. I feel like, I know it's not true, but I feel like uh, catnip is like drugs. <laughs> I know it's not true at all. And it has no grounds in science or anything. But I just feel inclined to not give them to catnip <laughs> you know what i mean they're chilling they're fine without it maybe if someday i need them to do something very badly i might coax them with uh, catnip but <laughs> binky seems like she got that addic addiction gene yeah so you guys have seen me sipping on the lemonade seven up mix lemon up and uh, there's something else here in my drink holder a tiny little shake let me take a sip first the 7-Up Lemonade Mix is fucking amazing. Now this, this is a Nepo Napoleon, Nepolitian shake. What is a nipple shake? Well, I'm here to tell you. The Nepolitian shake is chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry shake mixed together. And this is going to blow your fucking nipples off. That's why it's called Nepolitian. It's a good shake. I'm mostly f tasting the strawberry and the vanilla. I think they put very little chocolate. That's fucking good though. I think I've never had a In-N-Out shake. So I think I'd like a normal one, like a single flavor one as much. But damn, this is delicious. I'm kind of ready to give this like a nine out of 10 shake. It's really freaking good. One downside is they gave me a normal drink straw. <clears throat> and it's very hard to suck it up. It's a good fucking shake. A billion calories, though. I can feel the calories just slinking down my, my throat. Very yummy. 10 out of 10. Not, not 10 out of 10. 9 out of 10. Recommend. Or no. I would 10 out of 10 times recommend it. But it is a 9 out of 10. All right. That was fucking delicious. What a treat. I ate too fast, dude. I, I feel like um I was going to eat today. And um, what now, dude? What now? So, I was kind of disappointed that they didn't have the gorilla style. I don't know what the source of this is. Let's see, try to see. what. Okay, so what is the gorilla style at In-N-Out? Also frequent, frequently called monkey style 
It refers to any burger with animal fries shoved in the middle. However, if you're planning on ordering, okay, if you're planning on ordering this during your next in and out burger visit, be sure to tell in and out employee exactly what it is. Okay. Seems like they don't have it on the actual secret menu, but maybe if you tell them what it is, they might do it anyways. They continue saying, relying on the nickname gorilla or monkey style may not get what you actually want. In fact, many empl employees might not even know what it is. So be sure to carefully explain it. You know, order the item separately and DIY it at the table. You fucking idiots. That's not a secret menu thing, dude. That pisses me off, dude. All right, guys. Thank you guys for hanging out with me today. Uh, a little bit of a juicy stream. I actually enjoyed that in and out a lot. Big up recommend. Burger, 8.5 out of 10. Milkshake, 9 out of 10. The Dutchman, 0 out of 10. Nasty, fatty, don't get it. Horrible. Uh, lemonade and 7-Up mix. Speaker menu drink. Um, 8 out of 10. Or 7 out of 10. All in all, uh, probably an average rating of 8.5 out of 10. Very, very good. Very, very good. Very, very delicious. And yeah, um, I definitely recommend the, the animal style burger from in and out That was actually very delicious. Personally, I removed the pickles, the tomato, and the cheese. So take it with a grain of salt. If you like those things, keep it on. If you don't, take them off. Anyhow, thank you guys very, much, very, very much. Anyways, cheers, boys and girls and brothers and sisters and fellers and all that shit. Thank you guys very much for hanging out. And I love you. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, boys. Bye-bye.